What is going on, YouTube? My name is Otto Von Koch, independent pro wrestler alongside my co-host. Referee Amber, uh, thank you for having me again, joining you tonight. Absolutely, guys. And this is Dark Side of the Ring, Episode 7. That's right, Episode 7. Chris Adams, the gentleman and the demon. So he was a, a judo champion we learned in this episode, which I thought was really neat. Yeah, I guess he, he was uh, 14. He had 14 years of judo experience before entering into the world of professional wrestling. Um, he was, uh, I guess, a, a black belt. So he was a black belt in judo. He's a judo champion. Kind of helped along with his athleticism in the ring also, I feel like. Had that natural movement. Um, let's see. He uh, he started off with World Class Championship Wrestling. We learned that was his first like foot in the door of the wrestling business, wrestling industry. I don't think that was the first one. That was not the first one, but it was definitely one that he was uh, involved with a lot. Oh. Definitely wasn't the first one though. No. Okay. I do not believe that is correct because he was from England. So I don't think that was the first one or not. They, I don't think they specified that that was the first one. Okay. I really I don't. thought so. I didn't know no, if he, I definitely don't think that was the first one. I didn't know if he had any prior wrestling experience in the UK. I, I thought know. they brought him over, but I don't know. Anyways, they had him. He was a baby face, and then they kind of turned him heel as they partnered him with Gino Hernandez. They were uh, known as Bad to the Bone. Uh, they were just pretty much about money and fame, the two of them. That was like their their gimmick, and they lived it out. Um, they were telling us that, you know, we learned a couple wild stories, party stories, definitely things I did not know in this episode regarding Chris Adams. Um, they let us know about how, I guess, a incident in San Antonio... Um, I guess they had a hotel room full of drugs and anything that the wrestlers could want. And then they had like cops waiting at the door, kind of guarding the doors. One of the workers was saying how they paid the cops like a thousand dollars each just to guard the doors to make sure that, um, <laughs> they were doing it, I guess, uh, discreetly and without having to worry about anyone ruining their party. Yep, and then uh, Dave Manny, David Manny, was saying that he was the uh, first guy to uh, do the super kick. But once again, you know how true is that? We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So he started teaming up with this uh, female. He met her at a bar. Her name was Jeannie. Um, she became his manager. Uh, he was in the very beginning, his name was black belt, Chris Adams before he was gentleman, Chris Adams, uh, Iceman makes an appearance, uh, old time wrestler from the Texas scene saying that he was a true, uh, just anything he wanted to do, he could do really well. He was really clean and crisp in the ring. Um, he decides to leave Jeannie. Well, he actually goes to Mexico, it says. States that he goes to Mexico, and then he goes back to the uh, UK. Jeannie's pregnant on the beach. He's checking out women. Um, it's New Year's Eve, and uh, he says, okay, I'll be home. Make sure you have some champagne, yada, yada, yada. Have it ready for me with dinner. Doesn't show up till three days later. Raging alcoholic he was. Then he starts working with uh, World uh, Class Championship Wrestling. Uh, James Beard, the referee, uh, recalls a lot of stories. Continue. Yeah, and then um, what about the Caribbean plane incident where he slaps the, uh, they were telling us a story about how he's gone to it. Yeah, with so he slaps the uh, flight attendant. Flight attendant in the face, basically gets arrested. Um, the pilot comes out. He lifts up the pilot by the shoulders, raises him in the air. You know, I'm going to make you feel the pain or feel the power, he says. Uh, this episode was all just 
it was, it was very nice. You know, it shows that he was a real family man. He loved his daughters, his daughter. Um, he would send her letters on the road. Um, of course, we couldn't talk about this episode without talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was his number one student. Uh, later, starts dating Jeannie, Chris Adams' ex. Starts dating her. Um, originally, it was for storyline purposes. And then they start dating. Stone Cold goes to WCW. Chris Adams has another relapse with his alcoholism. Uh, drinking goes on a binger. Um, he was very jealous that Stone Cold was making that kind of money. Going to WCW, getting that kind of exposure. They state, allegedly. And, uh, yeah, you know, just really could learn a lot about this. Um episode. It was really, really sad at times. But, um, yeah, you can kind of go into the finish of the episode. Um, right. well, the... Are we there or no? Yeah. We um, started doing a lot of GHB. Right? Yeah, no, we didn't tell the story about how he uh, was tried for manslaughter for the GHB story that was told um, to us by... Um, yeah, his girlfriend at the time basically she passes away Linda I don't even think that it was a girlfriend I think it was just somebody that she, he had met that 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 day he was introduced with her from the, the children that he was living at correct boo Ray yeah but I think that was like her first time coming over to the house I don't know they didn't really explain it but it seemed like they didn't know each other really for that that long at all um so then yeah so then he was tried for manslaughter um they went back and they said, I guess, how he was um, not really happy with how he was portrayed when he was uh, in WCW. He wasn't happy with getting the matches and the outcome of the matches that he was getting. So Supposedly, allegedly, they were jobbing him out. Uh, he then gets a DUI and is fired from WCW. Um, before that, they tell a story about how he goes and rips an independent wrestler's hair out. Um, he had like extensions in his hair. I guess Chris Adams rips him, scalps him, has over 200 stitches. Okay. It was nice we seen an appearance from Tom Lane, UWW owner, wrestling promoter. And then the finish is basically death, like all these episodes. Oh yeah, like a lot of them are. Unfortunately. Yeah, the story was that, um... Chris called up Bure. Bure invited him over to his mother's house. They got into a tussle. Uh, alcohol is definitely a factor in it. Um, from Bure's side of the story, what he told he uh, Chris was going after him with the um, post of his bed. He, in self-defense, you know, tried to defend himself, and I guess he ended up hitting, no, I guess he had a, what, what was the end story? So basically what happens. He shoots him. He shoots him. Yeah, so he gets a, he he gets a bad him. post. Bottom line, alcohol is a bad thing. It's not a good thing. This episode was a good episode. Um, it was enjoyable. It was sad. So that's really all I have to say about it. You have anything else to say? No. Nope, oh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, we'll see ya.